Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Let's talk about bump stocks. The case that is still being fought. And uh, before we jump into that, I'm gonna thank the sponsor of today's video. It's Monday, the Monday Morning Grind brought to us by Blackout Coffee. Uh, we have, if you haven't heard yet, we have uh, the GOA No Compromise blend. We also have FPC Patriot Roast. If you wanna help these groups while also having the, some of the best coffee in the world, if you ask me, uh, every time you purchase one of their boxes of K-Cups, or if K-Cups aren't for you, we have ground and whole bean. Uh, we donate $2 per item purchased back to those groups to help them with the fight. It's our way of giving back and fighting for our rights here. Um, Blackwoodcoffee.com slash G and G is the link down below into the pinned comment. You don't like coffee? We get tea. We have hot chocolate. We have multiple flavors of uh, hot chocolate and coffee. We have swag hats. Um, we have a ton of hats. This is my favorite one. And uh, try to cut down on the shine on the dome. Thank you to Blackout Coffee for being uh, a great friend. Today I want to talk about the, the bump stock case and where it stands. Uh, Gun Owners of America has been suing the ATF since the day in 2018 when they published their new rule which made a slidey piece of plastic a machine gun. Yeah, yeah, most of us know what I'm talking about, but for those who don't, you can watch a couple of videos, search them, I'll, uh, I'll try to pin them, uh, but uh, all because Donald Trump, when he was president, wanted his ATF, well, his Department of Justice to get rid of them, and they banned the uh, slidey piece of plastic and called it a machine gun. Well, GOA immediately began suing, and uh, thank you to VCDL, who is also part of the lawsuit, and Tim Harmsman from Military Arms Channel. Thank you for putting your name and your business and your livelihood on the line here. Thank you. Uh, so they sued, and it went to, uh, made it all the way to the uh, appellate court in the 6th district, and the three-judge panel said, you know what, a slidey piece of plastic is not a machine gun. And central to this case is a thing called Chevron deference. And real quick, just to give you a quick uh, idea of what Chevron deference is, if there's an administrative rule where it's kind of really vague, the the courts give the the benefit of the doubt to the agencies that oversee the rule. However, it's not really appropriate in this case because Chevron deference in this case is being given to a criminal statute. A criminal statute. You could be charged with having a bump stock, an unregistered machine gun, a non-transferable machine gun, and look at a decade in jail and, a, and like a quarter million dollars in fines and they're gonna give Chevron deference? Like, hey, government, uh, do you think this person should get the benefit of the doubt? <laughs> we all know where that would lead, right? So this case uh, was uh, appealed to an en banc hearing in the six, that means all the justices, uh, full, full bench, and they came to a tie, an eight to eight tie. They couldn't make up their mind, is a slidey piece of plastic a machine gun or not? And should we give the ATF the ability to basically overrule everything with Chevron deference. Well, the Gun Owners of America said, you know what, we're gonna fight this all the way, and they have appealed this to the United States Supreme Court. A writ of certiorari was filled out at the end of last week, and my buddy uh, Eric Pratt, who's the senior vice president of GOA, said, if the ATF is allowed to twist federal law to unilaterally decree that a bump stock is a machine gun, then they can use the same logic to ban almost any semi-automatic firearm and undermine the constitutionally protected rights of Americans. Given ATF's notorious anti-gun agenda, the outcome of this case will determine if anti-gun bureaucrats can continue using executive fiat to turn law-abiding citizens into felons. Part of GOA's arguments in lower courts is that the, the ATF's de definition now of machine gun is, is way too broad and could include numerous other types of firearms in this broad uh, stroke of a, a paintbrush here uh, to include ARs, right, and AKs and stuff like that. And that's the last thing we want. And this comes on the heels of what's the ATF doing right now? They're figuring out a way to ban personally made firearms, 80% firearms, and uh, pistol braced firearms. Uh, so this is, it's, it's hilarious to me at a time when we are praising another country for their ability to have their citizenry armed up and defending against an invasion to say that, you know, it's good for them, but it's not for you. <laughs> it just goes to show you how, how crazy things are. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with this case and others just like it, 
please hit that subscribe button down below. I will keep you up to date on a daily basis. I put out videos every single day on this channel, often multiple times a day. So please check back regularly and hit that refresh. And don't forget to hit that bell icon, toggle it to all notifications. And if you get anything out of the video, hit the like and share so that more people will see it. Thank you all for your time. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you would like to help GOA, a great way to do it is to buy some No Compromise. And if you want to help out uh, FPC, I'm sure I grab the right one, uh, FPC Patriot Roast, made by us at Blackout Coffee in Florida. So it's an American company. All this is made here in, in America. And I thank you for your support. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. A gun on your hip is more effective than a cop on a phone. See you on the next one. Take care.